It, the Prophet wasallam says, out of all the crime, out of all the wrong deeds, deeds that a person may commit in this world, there is one sin that you will have to pay for in this world before you die. What is that? When you insult, you disrespect, you break the hearts of your parents. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. That's one thing we'll have to pay for. And sometimes a lot of us don't even realize we're paying for that right now. We think we're clever. That's a promise that we'll pay for that. You may answer for your salah and your zakat and your hajj on the day of judgment. But parents, we will have to pay for that. Somebody somewhere will do us back exactly what we did them. And then Allah says, وَقُلَّهُمَا قَوْلًا karima." Not only do you don't insult and abuse and hurt them, but you must make that effort to speak nice to them. Now he's not talking. Listen. What is qawl in Arabic? Qawl is speech. He's not saying, but you know what? You know what? Give them a lot of money. Give them this. Buy them a house. Buy them a nice car. Give them a fat bank account. Be nice to them with money and car. Allah is not saying that. He is saying here, karima, But speak nice to them. Oh Allah. You see, a lot of us today think you buy your parents with money and car and food and Mother's Day and dinner and Father's Day and a gift that you don't fool parents with. Allah is so wise, Allah. He's Hakim, Al Hakim. He's saying what they want is loving, kind words. Remember, we spoke about loneliness. So, you brothers and sisters who came late, get the khutbah after, it's for free. We ask you sometimes to give a donation so we could make money, hundreds, and give it away. Because there are people all over the world who would like it. We got people all over the world who tune in. Do you know it have people who look at two khutbahs, they go to their masjid and they come back and sit down and tune into Al Hikmah TV so they could look at this khutbah. Do you know that's one of the reasons why we have the khutbah this time? Because there are a lot of people worldwide who do that. A lot of us think that being nice to your parents is about being materialistic. Allah is saying, Wakulu, wakullahuma qawlan karima. That loving nice words, remember what we said about old people? They suffer loneliness. They want their children, they want someone to speak to them nice, love them, care for them, be there, be kind, be nice, smile, be loving to them. Oh Allah. The Prophet wasallam says, when you make your parents smile, that's a blessing of getting a hajj. Allah. And the Sahaba say, and if you make your parents smile a hundred times, would you get the blessings of a hundred hajj? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Naam, yes, sir. Yes. That's how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and if your parents reach an old age and they can't go to perform Umrah or they can't go to perform hajj, you go and do it for them. A lot of us today wait for them to die and then hypocritically try to boast, I'm going to do hajj for them. When they were alive, you didn't do it. Huh? When they were alive, you didn't spend that time and that love for them. But we were generalizing this topic about old age. So, in conclusion, I want to quote another verse from the Quran in Surah Hajj. In Surah Hajj, hear what Allah says. It's a very long verse. Chapter 22, verse 5. It's a very long verse. You could go home and read it, inshallah. But there is a part of this verse where Allah says, He said, Don't deny the reality. Don't deny the fact that you will have to face these consequences. You'll have to face the day of judgment. You'll have to face the reality of life. He says, if you deny that, I want you to ponder on something. And that's what this verse is saying, the synopsis of this verse. Allah is saying, I want you to ponder over something. Ponder over your background. That man, you were created from dust. Then from a drop of sperm to a little blood clot flesh then you were born as a baby and some of you were not even born alive oh allah is telling you allah says and some of you were born and some of you you lose your lives before you were born allah he says contemplate who does that who can do that medicare obamacare trump care health care no care it's only allah in charge of that 
So he wants us to ponder, don't be smart with Allah. He's reminding us, he says, think. Don't deny the reality. What life are we living? Go into where you came from. And he's saying that then you were born. And then he brought us into maturity as we are now, full strength, grown men and women. And then he says, Wamin kum may you tell And then he says, Some of you, after you grow into maturity, then, and I want to read these two verses here. He says, Some of you, Allah takes your life. He said, Your life is taken. Isn't that? Doesn't that happen? You see some people. So we're talking about old age, and you're like, yeah, right. But Allah says, he said, yeah, some people, very healthy, they grow up, and Allah said, take your life. Who is in charge of that? Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajun. We belong to Allah, to Allah is our return. And hear what he says about old age. You know, in the first khutbah, we were talking about the loneliness of old age. Loneliness of old age. Those of you who missed it again, get the khutbah after. That that is one of the, the suffering that people when they reach an old age, parents, grandparents, seniors, that no medication and no money can solve. It's just a grievance and a sorrow that they go through. And then Allah says, and if some of you, he does not take our lives, he continues to say, وَمِنْكُمْ مَيْ يُرَدُّ إِلَىٰ أَرْضَ لِلْعُمَرِ Allahu Akbar. He says, and some of you, baby, young man, healthy man, wealthy man, engineer, doctor, degree man, diploma, wealthy, I give you everything. He said, and to test you, some of you, I bring you into old age. Allah. Mm -hmm. He says, May you raddu ila arda lil umar. So you see, brother Azad, whether we believe old age or not, Allah is saying, I will take some of you into old age. I hear what he says he does to us. Allahu Akbar. He said, you want to believe? You don't believe that? I'll show you another thing. He said, you who claim that you are doctors and you're lawyers and you're businessmen and you're a smart man and you got money and you got wealth and you got power and you got all the degree in the world. He said, I bring you to someone that lose your knowledge. I bring you to someone who lose your senses. I, you know, I guess I'm goosebump. It's a, it's a sad reality, brother and sisters, brothers and sisters. As I sit down in the grave, you don't understand that because we haven't been there. But go around in Florida and you go in some of these old age homes. You know, I go around and visit some of these people. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. Meet some of these old people, senior citizens. And that's one of their problems, loneliness. No friends to visit them. No children to visit them. Nothing. They got all the wealth in the world. They can buy you and me. Mm -hmm. But they're lonely. And hear what Allah is saying. You deny the reality that you, what you will have to face. He said all that you think you are now. And I want all of you here. All of us. Whoever you think you are. Whatever you think you are. And how much money you think you have. And whatever healthcare you can be into. Multi-millionaire businessmen. Allah is saying, I'll bring you to a stage where the ilm, you will have no knowledge of anything anymore. You will be a doctor, but you can't practice medicine. You'll be an engineer, but you can't practice engineering field. Brother Irfan, you might be a realtor, but you can't sell houses anymore. They'll need to put you in a room of one of the houses you sold. You can't use your knowledge anymore. You have no knowledge of anything again. You have lost it. Don't you hear that? Don't people say that? Oh, my father has lost it now. He forgets everything. He doesn't remember anything. You know what a powerful lawyer he was? You know what a powerful doctor he was? Do you know what a powerful judge he was? But he has lost it. Uh-huh, he has lost it. For those of you who came late, there was a hadith that the Prophet we reminded ourselves of. The Prophet says that Allah has created a medicine for every sickness. But there's one thing there is no medicine for, and that is old age. And Allah is telling us here, He can bring you to this feebleness. And He uses the, these words. He makes you sick. He makes you 